Hi, I'm Jordan, and I'm here to help you guys a little bit with getting acquainted with D2L. There are many online um, descriptive videos about the in-depth how-to D2L, but I want to give you just a couple of um, helpful hints when wading through the murky water that now is our merging into online, exclusively online courses. I work in the Center for Student Success in Maybe Library. I also teach several sections of one one in Latin here at the university. So if you've seen me around campus, um, which is where I wish I was right now, and I hope to see you guys back there soon. I'm going to start with walking you guys through D2L now. So you can see my screen here, and I'm going to pull up just a regular web browser. And you go to d2l.washburn.edu. Or you can th go through your My Washburn, whichever you regularly do it through. In order to log in to D2L, you do your first dot last name at washburn.edu and your regular um, student email password should work. If you have any difficulty with D2L, please contact ITS at the university um, because they can help walk you through that and help recover a password if you've forgotten your password or anything else like that. So here is my D2L pages. Um, I'm going to walk you through my Wu 101 page. You'll see, if we go back here, you'll see your regular classes here that you're taking this term and the D2L pages. Um, What's nice down here is that you should have an upcoming events calendar and it will upload all of your upcoming events, not just for one class, but for all of your classes. So if you're trying to use your planner still, which I really suggest because it's hard to even know what day of the week it is right now, um, it's really important to come down here and kind of look to see what is happening with um, our upcoming classes. So we're going to go ahead and go into my D2L shell that I'm teaching this term. Uh, I think right now one of the number one important things to pay attention to in your online classes is probably just this general announcement page. This is where a lot of faculty members are going to be posting updates. This is where I post a lot of my um, little videos, uh, a lot of new assignments. I do weekly video updates for all of my students. Um, featuring a lot of animals, let me tell you. And then this is also where I post my office hour links and just general announcements for the class. So this is kind of our day to day or week to week information. The nitty gritty of the course for most of our online classes is going to be found in content. So for example, when I go to the content in my Wu 101 course, it pops up with the syllabus first. Now, a lot of the dates or details of your syllabus will probably change from the beginning of the term until now, unless you've been taking an online class this entire time. And so double check with your professors to see what due dates on major assignments have been adjusted. Really now here, you will have things that say modules or week one or week six, depending upon how your instructors are organizing it. I'm doing week one after spring break or week one online, um, kind of just because we're starting over a little bit in a lot of ways. It's a new type of class, but each one of your instructors are going to organize your classes differently. But content is really where the majority bulk of your classes are going to take place. So here I have my assignments posted, and this is where your assignments are going to be online. Um, now, a Dropbox, if you've never worked with a Dropbox before, it's going to look something like this. And what, however your professors label it, Dropbox, uh, submission, or just assignment, the key to recognizing where to submit your papers is this little file symbol right here. And a key with now D2L is that it's finicky about what type of files it likes to accept. So make sure that you save um, your files as either a PDF or a Word document. Google Docs will really not work. Um, pages, if you're working with a Mac, will not work. But what's nice is, and I'm on a Mac right now, I can show you for just a quick second what it's like 
to export a document as a PDF on a Mac. Um, let me try and find something simple. I was not prepared to do this. I just thought, hey, let's go ahead and show you since I'm here on a Mac. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new document. And how you export on a Mac is you come right up here to File, and you go Export to PDF or Word. And if you export it as a PDF, you put Next, and then save it as a desktop. It'll save as a PDF, and you can upload it to D2L that way. And that'll ensure that if you do everything as a PDF, it will really ensure that you're submitting a file that every single one of your instructors will be able to see. So come to content, look for your modules, um, and follow your module along with your modules. And if you're doing that, then most likely you're getting all of the material you need. I have set up our online um, module this way. So we want to one online. And as we go through, I'm really just uh, making sure that the students know in order, such as week two, what we're doing this week. And here I'm also attaching a Dropbox of a smaller assignments we're doing here. Now, some resources that you guys will have, you check your attendance here. You make sure you're talking with your instructors um, for the next two weeks. If your class was uh, taking attendance before, make sure you know how your instructor is taking attendance or participation points now. Is it how often you log into D2L? Is it a certain day that you need to log into D2L by? What is the pace that you need to be uh, completing the work online? And just make sure that you're asking these questions. Do not feel shy about asking questions right now because I promise you I'll give you a little hint. The faculty are trying to figure it out along the way just as much as you are. So do not feel shy about reaching out to your, to your faculty members via email, um, Zoom them. Many are going to post office hours on their Zoom. Um, please go to those office hours so you can just pop in and be like, hey, how are you doing? I have some questions. This online thing is confusing. And they'll be like, you know what? It's confusing for me too. So do not hesitate to reach out to your faculty members because that's what we're here for. And we honestly just miss your faces. I miss your faces. Um, so some of your resources here is attendance, but also um, your chat in case your faculty members are utilizing your D2L chat. Okay, groups in case you're working on group projects. This is where you'll find uh, the groups that your faculty member has um, divvied you up into. All right. Assessment is going to be where your quizzes are located, where your discussion boards are located. Now our discussion boards, we're going to do a different skill shop on how to write a really good discussion board, but make sure you're following your discussion boards because these might not be in one of the major assignment areas. They might be in a smaller assignment area. So always check your discussion boards and make sure that you're not only making your reply to the thread, but replying to other students' thread if that's what is expected of you. Hopefully the due date for the discussion boards will be here. That is where I've posted mine. Other assessments like quizzes will be here. I do not have any available quizzes um, because we're not doing quizzes in 101, but your quizzes should be up here as well as the due date um, in which they need to be completed. So surveys are also on here. You can also go back to assignments this way. Class lists. If you are in any group project and you have difficulty remembering or locating other students' emails, you can go to your class list in your D2L and you can email other students in your class this way. And that's really helpful. The last thing I want to point out, and I think this is one of the most important things, especially now that we're going online, is your grade book. This is where your grades are going to be posted. Make sure that you keep up with your grade book. Make sure that all of the things that you have turned in um, are being graded how you expect them to be graded. And what I mean by that is you get, let's say you have turned in your academic plan, but you got a zero. Make sure you just have open communication with your instructor. It's quite possible it was lost in the email. It was quite possible it didn't upload properly. Um, right now we're all using so many different 
electronic devices and ways of communication that something can easily fall be between the cracks, either on your end or the faculty member's end. So this is your area to make sure that you're be holding yourself accountable, but also holding your faculty member accountable and making sure that everybody is on the same page in, ter in terms of your graded items. And that is really kind of what I wanted to talk about with D2L. Um, if you have any questions for me in the future, or if you just want to reach out to some faculty member on campus, um, like I said, I really miss my students, so please feel free to reach out to me since I already have this going. Or maybe I don't. Oh, I have to minimize myself again, I think. Okay. Um, I'll post my email right here in my name. It's Jordan. Dot Noller at washburn.edu. Email me with absolutely any questions or concerns or problems that you're going through right now at the university. If I don't know the answer, I can find someone that does know the answer. And hopefully with all of this information, you have a little leg up on your new D2L experience. Thanks for listening.